Welcome back oh, here with us at Talk Back for Teens. Once again, I'm your host, Shantanique. I'm my co-host, Zoe Sullivan. And my guest host, Sean Brown from Teen Empowerment. Um, as you know, we're sitting with the Center for Teen Empowerment, um, talking with some of the students about their ideas and um, this plan that they're trying to implement called Solutions Not Suspensions. Um, we have two other students joining us who were not in the first segment, so I'm going to go ahead and have them introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Lakia. I'm 17 from, I'm 18 from Teen Empowerment. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Fremonte Strong, and I'm 17 from Teen Empowerment. Nice to have you guys. Um, so back on the topic of solutions and not suspensions, kind of more back to the suspension sides, um, probably not like a lot of examples, but can you guys think of any examples in which um, you may think that um, some suspensions might actually like work rather than just kind of like, oh, you were late, suspend it. Like any actual um, ways in which this would be an actual reasonable reason to give you suspension. <laughs> um, yes. Um, if there's a dangerous, hazardous situation, I think a student needs to be removed from the classroom because you're not only endangering yourself, you're endangering everyone else around you. So I think that's the only reasonable reason that a student should be suspended from school, taken away from your education. And there's so much at us about you guys need to get your education. That's the only way you're going to succeed in life. But you're taking away our success when you suspend us. So keep us in school unless unless there is a danger situation where everybody's life is in danger. <laughs> I feel as if suspension should only be applied when a student poses a threat to like other students or teachers or if someone is sexually assaulted, robbed or something, or fighting. I feel like those are, are the only reasons why students should be suspended. I'm in agreement, but I feel as if like if a situation came up of that nature, you know, um, Instead of like removing them from the whole like school period, I feel as if you should just re be removed from your classes and you know have like uh, uh, mediations and things like that to figure out like what's really going on and like dig deep into the problem. Because if you take them outside of their class and you know, I mean out outside of school, then the same thing that they was doing in class, they might go out into the, you know community and begin to do that, and you know you could get arrested for it and things like that. So you should just nip it in the bud while you you know, have it under control. I also feel like mediation is very important. Like, even before the suspension, I'm so big on conversations. So <laughs> like, yeah, if you do fighting, I do feel like need suspension because you, I feel like you need some time to just cool off and be away from each other. Um, so I do feel like fighting. And if it's like a danger or if somebody was sexually harassed, like, Serious situations, yeah. But still, have a conversation before you suspend them. <laughs> so I feel like fighting should be uh, means of suspension, but only in certain situations. And I say that because it could be a situation where you were only defending yourself. And because I have been suspended from school from that before, but it, I, it, just, it just didn't make sense to me because the school has all these cameras, and then they said nobody was there to see it. So I'm like, okay, the camera was there, but what for now? But then another reason that there's means for suspension is if uh, there's there's a disruption to the, the teaching environment. And I'm, when I say that, I mean like if a student is constantly disrupting a class, okay, he he's he kicked out of that class. But then if he keeps if he goes to the rest of his classes or his or her classes, and then they're still disrupting the classes and other people can't learn, then I think I feel like that's means of suspension but not a long-term suspension maybe like a short-term suspension to be like okay you, you've done this but now you know that you can't just come to your classes and just disrupt everybody else and i also feel like on like suspension what happened to like one or two day suspensions i, I don't hear mm -hmm. those no more like anything is five days like <laughs> They don't have anything. No, <laughs> there's no such thing. And so like when I was like, small. when I used to go to Douglas, we had IRR, so it was like immediate response room. So mm -hmm. it was like something happens, you get a referral, you go to IRR only for that class period, just to take you away from that teacher because you and the teacher had like an issue. But then you go to your next class and mm -hmm. you proceed on with your day. Like now it's like you have an issue with a teacher, leave for five days. Like <laughs> there's no. <laughs> sit in the classroom, cool off, think about what you did, or one or two days, it's automatically like five. I don't know when that started happening. Yeah, I don't 
I don't know about that one. I didn't even know that was, like, I knew they did those, but I didn't realize it was just, like, there's no in-between. It's just automatically, like, yo, we got five days. Um, That don't make any sense. You basically have a vacation. That's, like, a spring break (laughs) or a February break or something. That's a vacation. And so, if anything, I mean, I know, like, coming from the city school district, we already get, like, a lot of days off. We automatically get Wednesdays, like, early every single week. I mean, oh, you guys don't have that? I don't know. Stop what? Well, oh, man. Well, you do. Well, on I Thursdays, I get out at 12, but that's only because my school, we do community service. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know some schools, like, they partner and do, yeah. like, classes at MTC or you do, like, some type of internship or something. Yeah. I'm sorry for y'all. I used to get out on Wednesdays, like, I know. like two <laughs> hours <laughs> early, yeah. and it was really nice. Oh, that was but I'm sorry they took that privilege away from <laughs> you guys. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but yeah, like you you already have enough days off as is. It's kind of like at this point, what are you actually learning? Like, why are you in school? And so I did not know that was a thing. Like that, it's just automatically five days. Yeah, everything is five days. I remember because I was in a you mediation. Really a certain amount of times. Five yeah. days. Five days. You had your phone out? You wasn't you on? Was five days. Oh, <laughs> five days. Yeah, I'm all sweet without no pass awful. two times? Five days. Everything is five days. Oh my goodness. Everything is five days. <laughs> Every <Yeah>. trip. <laughs> that is. <laughs> Even school early. That's and I think days. with the young people yeah. have been working on with a lot of our initiatives, is trying to get the city school district and administrators to put something in concrete that says, if I have an issue with another student, this is what I get, a fight, this is what I get. Mm-hmm. If I'm disruptive in class, this is what I get. Um, needs to be like a streamlined, consistent um, program um, for how kids are you know, punished that's kind of uh, prevalent through the whole district. Um, so it's not that I was a bad kid last year or I was a good kid last year. No matter who you are, if you uh, have an offense, you're gonna get the same punishment every time and it's gonna be consistent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that'd be good. Or like even if they, deem like that it's necessary to change it up kind of do it like per offense like oh you know i've seen you way too many times like now we gotta right. kind of like up right. it right. but i don't like that's pretty severe for it to just automatically be five days i think mm-hmm. they should like depending on what it is like attendance like you miss a day or like even in school suspension i don't even think you should be suspended for like missing school you could be sick you could have this you could have that most of half the time they won't even accept your like your right. past <laughs> saying that yeah. you were sick or you were out and so, yeah, that's that's crazy. <laughs> oh, um, I just feel like in schools, period, it's an imbalance because, like, I understand how people were saying how, you know, if we need suspension if it's, like, something serious. But, like, we had the scanners put in place so they can check to see if there's guns or whatever. But then you also treating us like criminals. So it's, like, there's two sides. Like, it's supposed to be there to help, but you also not helping the situation. So I just feel like there's an imbalance in schools in general. So you guys gave some examples of alternatives, but do you see any downsides to those alternatives? Any ways that they couldn't affect anything? No, the only downside would be for those who don't want to work. Mm-hmm. Because like teaching is more than just like you get a piece of paper, you show them how to do a problem and that's it. You know, a teacher's job like a lot of teachers say, I'm not here to babysit, and you're not there to babysit, but at the end of the day, you have to do what you have to do to make sure that teacher, know, I mean, that student, rather, knows what they need to know. That's what a true teacher does. A true teacher is going to take their time and help their student so that they can move on, so that they can succeed. They tell us, you know, as Caitlin said before, you know, um, we're here to educate you. You're not going nowhere if, you're not, if you don't have your education, but at the end of the day, different students have different problems. We have, th- we're proposing more of a immediary so type of discipline rather than just suspending them. And this can only have positive effects. It's just going to be more strenuous with time. But at the end of the day, you go to school to learn how to work. You go to school to learn how to teach. You know, you have to get those certifications for a reason. So if you're not willing to do that, well, then you don't, you're not worthy to be called a teacher or to have that degree. Um, I feel like the downside would be like all these are great ideas but I feel like there would be um people that feel the same way but don't want to um what's the word like say anything about it because like, I have a lot of great teachers who like feel the same sentence that we do but they don't like say anything and feel like losing their job or whatever the case may be so like I just feel like that would be like one downside yeah I think you guys like bring up good points and I think that's a nice point to end on it's kind of like to 
rethink the way you actually think about suspensions and think about these alternatives, not really the negative, but what could actually be the positive that comes out of it. Um, and so I think it's really great what you guys are doing and keep doing what you're doing and make sure you're reaching out to other youth to get involved, to actually have their voice heard and to make a difference. Um, thank you for joining us. Once again, this is Talk Back for Teens. Uh, follow us um, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. That's Talk Back for Teens with a four. Um, and yeah, have a nice night. Follow me to the shipwreck shores of a dark and strange country. I was born stranger thinking out loud in a foreign tongue. I was out of place. I was looking all around just to try to find a friendly face.